All right, it's been a couple of days, and I realized I made a critical mistake when I picked this Ryzen CPU. No, not picking a Ryzen CPU in the first place, but rather this line right here, which I failed to read. Discrete graphics card required. So, I had to look around for an inexpensive option. So, I'm going to use, this is a little bit older, but it's just for getting graphics on the screen. I'm going to use this GeForce GT 710. Again, it's overkill for what I'm doing, but oh well. Alright, time to open this thing up and put it in. I've already got the slot opened up. Struggle busting with the box. Ah. See, I'm not going to be able to open it without tearing it. Yes, this is totally safe to do. And I ruined the box. Oh well. Alright, what do we got? So our accessories here. So we got an extra set of low profile brackets, but we won't need those. And we have instructions. Won't be needing those. Yeah. Quick install guide. Like you've never installed a video card before. Okay. Just pull on the tape till it yields. And then there we are. He is so tiny. So we have our DVI, because this is old, HDMI, and VGA. So fortunately, we're going to be able to keep the same stupid VGA monitor that this thing used to use. Just kind of hoping to get rid of it. And then... Let's go ahead and put that, get that screw started. Harbor Freight screwdriver. Of course, it's magnetized like you probably want to avoid doing. Sorry, I gotta use my other hand holding the camera here to get it on. Alright, let's go ahead and get that going. Alright, that's in. Let's give this an extra little turn. Alright, okay, now we can slam the cover back on. Hooray for thumb screws. Alright. It is now hooked up. I have temporary rainbow keyboard here. And it is alive. Go ahead and spam. Kill this light. Get that out of the way. Let's spam. Well, probably don't want to spam until the keyboard comes on. There we go. Oop, probably helped to turn on the monitor. Kind of a rookie mistake. There we are. We're already booting into the Windows 11 media. Okay, we wish for the United States. All right, bear with me. We're gonna do the activate windows here, but I'm not gonna show you the product key. Yeah, just too bad. There we are, the stupid EULA. Install. All right, and here we are with the setup screen. Just go next, and then let it sit there and churn. Do 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 do
Yeah, that's a really poor rendition. All right, here we're back with the end of the install process. Sorry, my tripod, I don't know where the hell I put it. I'll find it eventually. We are at 98. And then hold here for 10 hours. Oop. There we go. That actually went pretty fast. Maybe they actually fixed something for once. Installing updates. Very unlikely. I haven't connected the network yet. Right. And out comes the media. Spam F12. You know you do it too. All right. So so far so good. All right, looks like a, wait, what did that say? Okay. Not really a big fan of secure boot and how much of a pain in the butt it makes to use Linux. But it's kind of the whole reason also to build this machine for him. Here we go, initial setup. There's something I like to do at startup here, you'll see it in a few moments. Okay, before you do anything here, what I like to do, bring up the command prompt was shift F10, and then, whoop, it would help if I put the insertion point in there, right? I mean, blinking cursor doesn't mean that it should be ready to accept typing, right? O, B, E, back, N, R, O. So what this is going to do, this is going to allow us to make a local account. As far as I'm aware, you can only do this on Windows 11 Pro. So it makes it reboot. If you went ahead and tried to connect it to the network and then realized you wanted to do that, you can still go shift F11 and then set up OOBE, whack, bypass NRO, and it'll reboot and do this, all the same. But in general, try not to connect it to the network or to Wi-Fi before doing this part. OK, 
Okay. All right, we are going to lie. Here we go for the intended user. I'm going to change that later. That's a dirty, rotten line, you know it. This will take more than a few minutes. And in case you're wondering, okay, never mind. Here's the desktop, and we're going to borrow the local Xfinity Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Let's trigger it to... Should go to a captive portal. Sometimes it works correctly, sometimes it doesn't. A lot of times it's going to ask you for your login info. Okay, it's not going to work this time. Just a moment, I'm going to connect to my own Wi Fi instead. Never mind, I'm stupid. It said it action needed and then there's a link here to bring me up to this continue i know it's not private this is kind of irritating i know the date's invalid <laughs> it thinks it's quite a while ago but we're going to update in just a moment all right i'm going to punch in my info for here and hopefully this is going to work for me back in a moment all right it is connected and now the time is current enough all right next i need to get office and all that other fun jazz installed as well as all this personal data that i recovered from our drive hold please 